It's 12.56, we're supposed to leave by 2, so I have about an hour to pack up all my stuff for a six-month adventure. Gotta start now. I almost forgot I have a lot of stuff in the office. I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna take this. We have that much stuff for moving to Miami and then we're gonna bring maybe a quarter of that with us to India. Yeah, we can put a pillow on top of this and then we can rest our arms on it. It's a really nice armrest. Get a picture of Sai Baba. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Super, super comfy now. Good job. We did it. It's like really what we use on an everyday basis anyways. All right. Car is packed. We're going to follow Devor to the JFK. airport. JFK. So we can J pick up Surrey. Okay. Or we can at least say hi to Surrey and bye to Surrey. That's so Right before, yeah. Okay, right before we leave. Yeah, just try to look around for them. They should be coming out somewhere over here. Okay, have you, have you found them? I tried calling you like a hundred times. Your phone had no service. Yeah. I tried calling you like eight times. All right, so we did not find Suri. We'll have to wait to see her in Puerto Rico in a few days. In there's a tiny weasel over there. There's also traffic and NYPD school. Okay, what is that tiny weasel doing over there? Wow, look at that. That's a really nice view. Sorry, it's calling. I'm okay, not, I'm wait, not just pick it up. Just pick it up and just tell her that. Hello? Hey, Sari. Hi, sorry, I Where should I park? Oh, Over here? here? Hey, what's going on? Hey, nice, nice to meet to you. <laughs> We're hugging in the middle of the road. This is GoPro, or you could say YouTube. Hi, GoPro. Hi, GoPro. <laughs> Tell me, what would you do after a very stressful drive? Very what do you, stressful drive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here now. Oh, yeah, I like that. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, safe. So, Mark was born one day before me, so he's one day older than me. That's right. One yeah. day wiser. One day wiser. <laughs> yeah, right. It makes a big difference. It makes. A, did you see that whole thing about like, hey, it's over now and you're here? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's that's that's, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it does feel good. Yeah. I feel better already. I'm Mark Van Buren, and I'm a yoga instructor, a mindful living trainer and the author of uh, two books on meditation and mindfulness. Hmm. I've been practicing Buddhism and meditation for about a decade and um, I love it and I love talking about it, I love teaching it, I love doing it. It's literally become my life. The part that people forget is daily life. Mm. That's your practice. Yeah. Like That's where you see how well your meditation is going, is how you're living your life and, and how you're responding to situations. It doesn't mean you still don't get angry. I, I get angry all the time, especially at the, the new job I'm working at. Um, you know, I still get upset if somebody passes away or does something mean to me, uh, but I can respond most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get yeah. stuck in reactions. But Maybe a little better than if you hadn't been practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, baby steps. You know, if I look back 10 years at who I was and what I was doing and what my life was based on, 
that's when you can see the big difference. It's not, you know, our society wants that quick fix, like, oh, the meditation pill where I can be enlightened in one day, you know, but this is a lifelong practice and you never get there. It's, a, it's not like you get something and then that's it. Just having a realistic approach and view on life reduces so much suffering. I don't know if I'm gonna live till tonight, you know? And people look at that and they think, oh, that's so, so negative, that's so depressing. It's not. It makes me live fully. I know how special this moment is. You and I standing here right now on this floating rock, uh, flying around some fiery ball in this vast emptiness, but somehow here we are at talking about meditation yeah. and enlightenment, mm. you know? But, uh, you know, it's just bizarre if you think about it. I, always, I never promise people happiness because, like I said, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and they might be unpleasant conditions and if pleasant conditions is what makes you happy then i don't want to promise you that but what i can promise people is that they can connect with an unshakable peace is the spiritual path about enjoying our lives more or is it more about realizing the truth of the universe i think that's ultimately the same thing hmm. i think the more you realize the universe the more that you enjoy this life. What is the truth of the universe that we need to realize? <laughs> all right, all right, perfect. I think we'll end on that. I know Mark's got to go. So hey, really nice meeting you, Mark. Yes, thanks for driving. Yeah, I'll East be East Rutherford. I'll be Rutherford. back at some point for sure. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. All right, awesome. nice. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> I got a couple of Mark's books. This one is called Be Your shotty self and this one your life is meditation oh be your shitty s oh now i understand that makes <laughs> that makes more sense okay so we're heading to philadelphia to meet up with yoni my cousin yoni he has an air mattress for us What's up, dude? What's going on? It's nice to stay here tonight. It's really comfortable. And I get a little time to actually look at Mark's books. They look pretty good. I started reading a little bit. Nice to have a bed in the back of the car. I remember now, I, I took my phone and my wallet out of my pockets and I put them down on the car at the gas station in North Carolina.